Hello bros, Cinderace strikes again. Someone requested that I play Cinderace and here it is. I hope you enjoy it and learn something. This game I will show you how to properly play Cinderace in the lane and also how to play Pyroball effectively in every game. But first, let me tell you my build. First build is the Massile Band for maximizing the basic attack of Cinderace and the next one is the Attack Weight for maximizing the damage of the Pyroball and the last one is the Charging Charm for maximizing the damage of the Pyroball also. So here I'm going to stack which is a free and here I'm going to get this in order for me to gain advantage and if you are playing Cinderace you can kill Mio Scarada but if the anyone doesn't want you to let score don't push yourself don't score just clear your wild pokemons in your area to be safe but here luckily i got three stack already which is pretty good in my early game so i'm playing uh, safe here because i did not teach my power spike and also we know that cinder ace is pretty weak against leaning but you can outplay that so here mascarada is pushing and if you've noticed that Mio Skarda's first move he deals too much damage so you need to be careful of that do not receive all of that damage just keep your distance on it so here i'm just getting my level 5 and i get my level 5 so i'm pretty huge now and if you are playing cinderace you don't need to go against your opponent just hit him in a distance range and hoping that your team will last hit the wild pokemon in your area so here i get the last hit luckily and we're pushing here and uh, meow scarada goes here and i died because of his passive ability i mean his boosted ability where he can close distance to me which is pretty bad but still it's a good game because finally I get my tree stack here so here I'm just farming my level 7 to get my pyro ball in order for me to become huge and also your battle up items depends on you but I'm using eject button because once I use pyro ball I can either use my eject button to move the pyro ball in a specified direction in order for me to hit accurately so here when I reach my level 7 it will be game time and Luckily, I get stuck, which is pretty bad for the enemy team because once I get fully stuck, my parable will hit like a nook. So look at that damage with just one parable. And the clearing of parable is really insanely good. And now I get my 5 stack, which is pretty pretty bad for the enemy. Because once I get hit the parable to the attacker, I'm sure that I can one shot them or lower their HP very much. So here I'm trying to get the objectives here and cinder ace is really pretty good when securing the objectives also because it's unite mode and the fireball so look at the damage so as you've noticed i'm picking the faint because greninja is unite move i can dodge that and also it's okay if you are using flame charge here but i did not really recommend it, it because wigglytuff is using slip and also when you hit wiggly tough with your flame charge the passive of wiggly will proc and it will make you vulnerable and he will pull you so here and also faint attack is very i mean faint is very good against absol to counter his pursuit so here i'm just pushing here and i can 1v3 this and look at that pyro ball damage using my unite move to kill them all and the faint attack regenerative is really pretty good also as look like that bros you need to keep distance when playing pyro ball and make sure you hit the opponent very accurately it doesn't mean you need to be fast bros as i always said you need to be pretty accurate with your moves and keeping your distance and also your faint for dodging the enemy moveset then not just press it you can press it if you are need to reposition yourself or dodging the enemy movement set just like castle here it is pretty good for if you are using faint so here we're just pushing and if you notice i'm just in the back line and throwing my pyro ball and if the muse Karada will go in me i just use my faint attack and if the castle go here i just face my faint attack just like that and i dodge the unite move of greninja 
because of my faith attack positioning and backing faith attack fire ball just like that bros you need to position yourself really carefully use the faint attack to back and use the fire ball to be offensive just like that bros and here and i can't do anything here because my faint attack is so cooldown and my eject button is so cooldown which i'm pretty sure that i will die of Absol's unite move it's pretty sad but it's still fine because you can really dodge all the CC of the enemy like Krasel, like Absol and my positioning there is very ugly I should go back there instead always take note that when you are using your faint attack I mean faint and use your fireball immediately to lower the cooldown of your faint so remember accuracy is very better so if you are also using your unite move try to be objective type or killing the enemies while in the objective so just like that bros always take note that you really need to be in your back lane area and make sure you hit your fireball very accurately and while using your faint use your fireball immediately or accurately in order for the faint to, to be on cooldown and you have another mobility reserved in your team fight once again so here uh, we're pushing very hard here and I think and as you've seen I saw Mio Scarada here and I'm waiting for him to go inside and I'm just watching the whole map in order for me to have a distance but I think this is a bad play for me and I use really faint attack there but I don't know why it did not proc I mean it did not use but I don't know really why but as you've seen I uh, used the faint attack and I still got hit or my I think it's my hands problem because sometimes when my hands is very sweaty I cannot press the buttons so here I died again which is pretty bad for me but I should be playing safely here and my positioning there is also bad and as you've seen I'm farming just my level 14 in order for me to fight really hard in the requires a fight and in the requires a fight you will see how really Cinder Ace is very strong if you just know how to position yourself every team fight because when I'm using Cinder Ace I'm planning for the enemy to jump in and forgetting about me let them jump first and if they are all in the center lane or they are fighting that's the time you will jump there and join the fight because once they are busy they will lose interest in you and they will just focus what's in front of them because you need to really let them know that you're not in the game but even you're not in the game but you're in the game right so here I'm just getting my objectives here and dealing my damage using Powerball to secure and here's how I play the requires a fight strategically bros. So I'm just keeping my distance here and waiting for the right time to attack and here have you noticed that my team will get fight at here and I'm just staying in the bush waiting patiently for them to engage the fight. I'm waiting for the right opportunity to attack just pressing my Powerball here there and now that target who is a threat in me jump Muse Karada so it's my free time to kill in the back line so I'm just keeping my distance here and using my parable eject button in order for me to accurately hit the parable you can use your parable eject button just like that bros so here you have no problem when you're finishing Rayquaza flipping hard because Cinder Ace is very good flipping Rayquaza very fast this is why Cinder Ace and guy I mean guard jump one of the fastest reaping in Rayquaza so here we just won the game just like that so here I'm just keeping my distance and using my defender as a tool and they will jump at me but I just use my faint attack I mean the faint and just kill them in the back line and using my faint attack also and here the green ninja kills me I don't know why the Trevenant the Lichorn, yeah, the Lichorn, right? The Lichorn did not get drug, drug Green Ninja, but still a great play for me. So just like that, pros, when you are playing Cinder Ace, you need always to keep your distance and use Faint to dodge the enemy moves and CC, just like Wigglytuff, Green Ninja Unite move, Crossel. You need to use your Faint, and after using the Faint, 
try to use the parable very fast and very accurately as possible in order for you to lower the cooldown of your faint and you have another faint in your reservation in your team fight so thank you bros i hope you like and subscribe for more of this type of content and i hope you reach again 20 likes for more video content about this thank you bros and stay hydrated as always